Hello, all you QuickBooks users. Here by popular demand, there is a new functionality in QuickBooks Online Advanced. It is the Expense Claims Hub, which is a place for employees and vendors to be able to submit requests for sometimes reimbursement or um, expenses that have been spent on the business's behalf. So first you're going to want to access this area. So you can do so by going over to your expenses and then choosing expense claims, a brand new tab inside of QuickBooks Online Advanced. From there, you can select the manage settings and you're going to have an area that's gonna open up for you to be able to manage the categories for employees and vendors to submit to. Um, be aware that whenever you do go through that list, you can see from your drop down all of the existing chart of accounts, but you can add to your chart of accounts if there is not an appropriate account already in existence. So once that is done, then next you're going to um, be able to make a further selection. Do you need to have customers, projects, classes, or locations in order to be able to um, allow employees and vendors to submit these expense claims? The other thing that you want to do is be aware of the way that you can actually be notified if you enable the box that says notify me when employees submit an expense. This means every single time there is a submission, you will receive a notification. It's kind of a nice way to, to be up to date on what's happening here. The other thing that you want to be aware of is when you go to sign up a new user for this functionality, it can be an employee or a vendor, and you're going to put in the name and the email address, and automatically QuickBooks Online Advanced is going to create a new role, and that role is going to be called Track Time and Submit Expense Claims. You can, if you need to, later on change that role if they do not need to have track time. Um, but for now, once that uh, invitation goes off, those uh, employees and vendors, they have 30 days in order to, um, to accept that invite. If you already have an employee or vendor by that name, you can actually link those accounts. And then once they have accepted their invite, then they're going to have some fields that they'll need to fill out while they're submitting their request. You have an amount, a reimbursement, transaction date, vendor name, category, reasons for the expense, customer, project, class, or location. And then also, does this expense need to be billable? Um, so after it has been submitted, the next thing that will take place is you're going to need to then look at that submittal and approve it. So when you go to approve, you've got a couple of different choices. You can go to the for review tab in the expense claims, or you can go over to the receipts tab in the banking center. And you can go through and you can review, um, maybe even correct any payee or bank account, um, any category that needs to be revised. And then once that is done, you'll decide, do you want to create an expense or do you want to create a bill? Um, and if you decide that this is a, an expense, so it's a receipt that, that does not need to be reimbursed, then you can make sure to make that change. But if this is a reimbursement that you need to pay out to an employee or a vendor, then you would want to make this a bill and you'd make sure that the name on that bill is whoever is submitting that request. Those do need to actually match the user and the name of the person that you are reimbursing. This is a super cool feature. So lots of um, updates are constantly being rolled out and sometimes tweaked and edited as needed. So your feedback is super valuable. I love hearing from my community and I love sharing whenever I know new things. So happy quick booksing and ciao for now.